morning. This is Destiny. Here on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday, the sun is up this morning and I am feeling great. I just want to say hi to everyone out there this morning. Destiny is here with the conclusion of the video, Living in the Now. This will be the Living Now series. This will be part three and the conclusion of that series. Today is Sunday and it's October the 27, 2019. I'm feeling so good today. I'm just feeling so loved and so joyful and so happy because that is what I woke up with this morning and I picked all of those positive things and I shoved them inside of me and I declare it and I decree it and I own it and I'm walking in it. So I am here today to conclude this and let me get this over with. <laughs> I don't want to prolong this video. I get my notes. I write all my notes out. Yes, I had to write everything out because I don't want to miss my key points. I love y'all. I see y'all out there. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I see everyone out there. You know, I really want to thank all all of my viewers that goes to my page, watches my videos, comments on my videos, and they send their love and their support. I thank everyone. You know, guys, who you are. You're always following me. You're always keeping up with me. Let me know that you are behind me and you're supporting me. And you're making comments and you're asking questions and you're sending me information to help me to be, become even better and greater as my higher self. Guys, all you that is doing that for Destiny, a big shout out to all of you. You are the best and I love you so dearly. And it makes my day when I hear from you guys, when you just, I look down in the comment box and I say, oh, there he is or there she is. They're remembering me in love and support and as their family. Thank you guys. Keep hitting the comment box. Stay in touch and stay connected with me. That means everything to me, okay? So I just want to make sure that I may not say it enough how much I appreciate everyone, but I want to make that known today. I really appreciate you guys so much that you guys are really holding me up and supporting me, and I feel the love. Feel the love, and I'm sending my best love to every one of you out there this morning, especially those who always in touch with me, contacting me, commenting on my videos, and staying in touch and sharing information and love and knowledge with me as well. You guys keep your heads up and keep moving forward, and you are the light and the love and the peace that the Creator has sent to this universe to shine your light upon the paths of others keep doing your job as well and i will be out there watching you guys and i am supporting all those who are on their journey who is in contact with me with what paths they're on guys and i am encouraging you keep going we are in this together we are one and we are connected and we will continue to help one another i love you guys all of my supporters Okay, so let's get started. I have these notes here, and I'm looking over here at my notes. So let's get started, okay? Now, this is the Living in the Now series. And what does it mean to live in the now? And we have been talking about this series. And if you want to get all the information, and you want to go back and get all this instructions and all of these uh, little tips and all these nuggets, then you will have to go back to video part one and video part two. Because today I'm just going to head right on into part three of the Living in the Now series so we can conclude this. But you 
must go back. Part one and part two is significant for you to understand all the teachings that has been taught in order for you to understand where I'm picking up today. And there is a lot of information, so do that for me. Do that for me, do that for yourself. And please get out your notes, get out your pads or your pencils, your tape recorder, whatever you got, turn on your ears, put your focus and tension on what you're hearing. Destiny is speaking to morning, this morning in this final video. Okay, I gotta get started. Living in the now. So, my first question is going to be to all of you out there, okay? And that question is, how can I live in the now and yet still plan for the future? And that was a question that I did get posted on, I think it was video two, on part two. So, I'm going to I'm going to answer that question and I hope that the person that posted that is listening to this video because this is your answer. How can I live in the now and yet still plan for the future? That was a very good question. I gave a lot of thought to that question and I had some information already re uh, regarding that. And that I was going to bring and share. So I'm going to put it all together. And here is your answer to the best that I know how to answer that question. Okay. How can I live in the now and yet still plan for the future? Now let me tell you this. We do need to plan. And of course we do need to prepare for our futures. In terms of like our education our families, our skills, our finances, relationships, and so forth, things like that. You know, we do have to make some plans in the future, not jumping from where we are at this present moment and jumping all into the future and forgetting about laying the foundation at the place where you are now living. Because like I said, the future, it holds its own. The creator holds everything in the power of his hand. He already planned out everything. He predestined everything in you, in your life, before the foundation of the earth, before he even created you, and he shot you out of your mother's womb. You already had a destiny. You already had a purpose. You already had a plan for this life. So he already has your future in his hand. So, the question I was going to say, we do have to have some plans, but we don't live in those plans so far ahead, but we just can't live our whole entire life in our future and forgetting about the now, the present moment. So, we do need to plan. And we do need to prepare for our futures in terms, I say, within our education or our skills, families, our relationships, our finances, and so on. But like I said, we can't live in the future because we don't own the future. We're not now at that place in the future. We are in the present, okay? So our focus should and it must be on our now. Okay? So, now let me continue. I, th I hope that will have answered your question. And I'm going to add a few more things and some, some things and thoughts that I have been given by the divine creator as well. So, to add to all that, when we set our goals and create our vision for the future, we must then break down the big task into small, manageable chunks in such a way that each chunk keep us in the present, the present moment, rather than distracting us from the present moment. In other words, what I'm saying, the small size or the size of our task should keep us focused on the present and not point to the future. 
and when we're all turned into all that direction and looking over everything that's in front of us and we are looking all out there into the future then we we off course we need to turn around and come back to now because that's where our divine source our god and our creator is there and he's gonna direct our paths the steps of a good man is ordered by our mighty creator he ordered every one of our steps and he tell you which step to take in order to get to the path that you need to be which will lead us into our future so stay in the moment stay in the moment you have not yet arrived in your future you don't set goals because you believe that achieving those goals will increase your happiness in the future but rather you set goals to increase the happiness you are already enjoying in the present moment. Set goals because you are so passionate about the work that you are doing that you want to share it with as many people as possible. And you don't look to your work to make you happy. But you rather look to your work to express your happiness outwardly because happiness is inside of you so you have to express your happiness which is inward so it can be shown outward so you can share all of that and your happiness with others okay the happier you feel the less subtracted you will be to outcomes instead of trying to acquire money fame, fortunes, possessions, and other material goods, we have to shift our focus to self-expression. Self-expression. And by focusing on expressing instead of acquiring, then we will end up doing the very things that enable us to acquire what Ever that we may want or whatever that we do want we know that the money is going to come we know that possession is all going to come see when we speak those things like I said we speak those things when we speak them we have to believe it I am money money comes to me I am a money magnet I am fortunate I am rich I am wealthy I'm a multi-being there all those things you speak you speak within your heart you speak it because you believe it you know what i'm saying and long as you're speaking it, you're believing it and you're agreeing that with what the universe has for you it cannot help but come nothing can stop it but you and that's it if you change from your positive speaking and believing it in in what you're speaking and agreeing with the universe you can have it but once your mind becomes negative and you start speaking against those things and you start disagreeing with the universe, then you're sending the universe uh, negative vibes and signals. And now the universe like, okay, do they want it? Do they don't? Or whatever. And the universe starts sending things in other directions away from you. But all your possessions and all the things you want, all the money you want, all the fame and the fortune, it's already inside of you. It's there. And like I said on another video, when I say I heard this person say, everything's within you, everything, then you just got to go on the inside and pull it out. It's yours. It was already placed in you and put into you. Everything that will sustain you in life, everything that will create a beautiful and a wonderful future and a life for you, successful life, a, a life full of, of finances that is going to take you from this life to the next and the next and the next. It's already in you. Go inside and pull it out. All the other material goods, they, it, it's going to come. As long as you stay in connection, as long as you stay in tune and sync with the universe, and as long as you continue to believe that what the universe says is yours, it's yours. Even though you might not yet have billions of dollars in the bank, and I said yet, then you start living the way that you will live if you were financially set already for life. You know what I'm saying? You wake up, you know what I mean? You stop going to the dollar stores and, and picking up these little dollar things like, you know, because when you start 
managing your money and you know, I mean, so crazy where you gotta manage every little thing. I gotta have hand me downs, I gotta run to the to the uh goodwill stores, and I gotta go to these little places that have dollar store things that you know you you're you're limiting your life. You're saying that I can't afford that, I can't have that. So I'm not telling you to go out there and be crazy and, and foolish with your money. But then you got to see yourself that when I give out, when I spend the best on myself, that the best has to come back to me. So, you may not have the billions yet, but take yourself out. Treat yourself really good. Every now and then, you go and buy yourself the best outfit, the most nicest outfit. Spend the money on yourself. Get yourself your best hairstyles every other week or so. Keep your nails done. I mean, keep yourself looking like a million bucks. Live the kind of life that you would mean. I mean, you just live the kind of life that will mean that even if you did win the lottery, you would keep on doing what you were already doing because you're so comfortable in your living, your lavish, and your rich lifehood because you already had practiced that. So when you do win that lottery and you get all this money, now you don't have to readjust your mind like, how am I going to spend this? And, and you won't be foolish at spending or throwing it out because now you've been living that way. You've been living your, in your luxurious life already. So you have to prepare yourself. Not jumping into your future, but you're living in your now and you're preparing your now for your future. You get that? The money will simply expand your capacity but not the essence of what you were doing because you were already doing it like you already had it. My money is here. Your money is here. Go on the inside of you. Pull it out. The creator of the universe has already manifested things. It's in your storage, your storage unit inside of you. Everything you need is in you. Just go inside and pull it out. You go inside, you pull it out. You have to believe that it, what the Creator says, it, He will hold no good thing from those who walk up right before Him, who stays in connection, who stays in sync, who believe in the power of the universe, who believe in the Creator and the Source, who believe in themselves or their Creator, their higher and greater self. It's yours. You are your own Creator. The whole world, the universe, everything is within you. You are light. You are love and peace. And you are the universe. I love you guys. I just love you guys. I love you guys. So the money will simply expand your capacity, but not the absence of what you are doing. So stay tuned to your now because you are right now where the Creator wants you to be, and everything that He has for you is already there. And He's there with you. Stay in your presence, okay? Right now, in your present moment. What would you do if you were already set for life? And that's a question. Put that in the comment box. Answer that question. Put your answers in the comment box. I'm going to repeat that. I want you to hear that real good. What would you do if you were already set for life? I want to hear everybody hitting that comment box, answer that question. If you didn't, if you missed it, you go back and you and you replay that part and you pick up that question. Please answer it. What would you do if you were already set for life? So, figure out what that is, okay? Figure out whatever that is. You only would know because the answer is within you. And when you figure that out, you find a way to begin doing, doing that thing or doing those things on the same level right now. I'm not talking about going back in your past and saying what I could have done, what I should have done, what, what, what I wish I would have done. No, we can't go back to our past. The past is behind us. We got to keep moving where we are in that moment. I'm not talking about reaching out into the future like if I could only do this. No, 
You are where you are at the present moment, at the place that the universe, your creator, your God wants you. Enjoy your journey right where you are. And you are always transcending whether you can see it, feel it, believe it, or whether you know it. He is moving you every single day closer to the place that he wants you to be, which will be another time you will be at that future place but right now, live in the moment. So, ask yourself the following questions. And you can also add this to the comment box. There's three questions. You have to listen. Got your notes. Add to those notes these three questions, okay? Okay. You can also put your answers in the comment box. You can write the question down, answer it. I mean, I just want to hear from you guys. I mean, I don't hear uh, uh, from enough of you. There are so many other uh, subscribers, members. I don't hear nothing from you guys. And I'll be pouring out everything that the Creator gives me. I'll be pouring out my heart. I'll be pouring out my raw life, my raw stories, my experiences. I'll be pouring out the mistakes and the flaws that I have now that showing you that if he can change me and fix me, that he could do it for you and anybody else. I'll be pouring out my heartfelt stories. I have shed tears. I have tears rolled down my face. I have rocked in my chair because... I was resonating with the experiences and the pain that was reliving it because I want to stand up and give you my testimonies and my rawness and my authentic, my, my authentic being so you can know that I am not perfect as people want to pretend they are. They don't make mistakes. I said, we are perfect beings. We are perfect beings according to the Bible. Be ye perfect even as your father is is in heaven is perfect. Now that is in the Bible. And I take that as he was speaking to us. We are perfect beings. But we make mistakes. We make flaws. We make errors. And, and we make a lot of mess in, of our perfect lives that he had created. But I have to, he told me, I mean, the creator, my God, told me when I began to do my videos, I was so concerned about, you know, mistakes that I was making, the words that I didn't pronounce properly. Uh, if I did not say something correctly, he said, don't worry about it. I don't want you ever going back and redoing your videos. He said, I don't want you doing that. I want you to be raw and authentic, and I want you to be who you are. I don't want you to go back and try to edit your videos. Do never edit. And that's what the divine power, that's what he told me. I, I know he spoke that to me because that was a big concern. Oh, what they're going to say? I messed this up. I did this wrong. I said that wrong. I spoke this wrong. I didn't say the words correctly. And I, wanna, I don't want people to know this. And I spoke that by mistake. He said, keep moving forward. Keep moving forward, Destiny. You are being who I want you to be. If you always show your perfectionism, if you always show your perfect, beautiful self, and you never expose the rawness, the harms, the hurts, the pains, the mistakes, if you never show those things, then what do your viewers have that they can relate to you? How can they stand up and say, Hey, you know, if Destiny went through all that, if, if this happened in Destiny's life, if Destiny went through a stage of depression, if Destiny wanted to kill herself several times in her life, if Destiny made mistakes, if Destiny went through all this fear and pain and, and abuse, then, hey, he delivered her. He brought her to her greater, higher self. He made her life authentic. Beautiful, loving, caring, and kind, and compassionate, where she loves people, where she loves them regardless if they hurt her, then he could do it for me. The divine source, my God, could do it for me. But if it but destiny never show that side of her hurts and her fears and her tears and her pain, I'm just about to break down right here. 
If I never show you anyone, then how can you know? Or how can you want to release your hurts and pains and things you're being to? So I don't know how I got off that. Live in the moment. Live right now in your moment, in your present moment. Be your stinted, beautiful self. We you know, through your mistakes. We all gonna make mistakes. We all gonna make errors, but our mistakes most of the time it's not for us, it's for us to help somebody else. Let me get back. These three questions. Ask yourself the following three questions. And question number one. How do I feel about my life right now at the present moment? Question number two. Am I feeling positive and passionate about life or am I stuck in the same situation? Woo, that is hard. Sacrificing my present happiness for the hope of a better tomorrow. Hit the replay and rewind that question and listen to it again and answer it. Question number three. Am I becoming significantly happier and more fulfilled with each passing year? Or am I just running on the spot trying to convince myself that someday things will be better? Hit the replay and you can replay that question. Listen at it very carefully. Look at it very, very closely. Answer that question in the comment box. And you say, you're trying to convince yourself that someday things were going to get better. But let me tell you out there, listen good. Things, things, things. I'm going to tell you that there is no someday. <gasps> Destiny, there's no someday. I said it, yes. There is no someday is right now is your present moment don't let that surprise you don't let that startle you listen there is no someday there is only right now what there is only right now no someday only right now. Still love me? Yes. Okay. Okay. If your current path isn't a joyful one, guess what? You just take another path, a different path. But just because like you stay in tune and stay intact with the, what the Creator of God is leading you, and He knows if you're in the wrong direction, He's going to put you back on course. Trust your creator. Trust your God, your, your, your higher power. By making your present reality as enjoyable as possible, your motivation will increase because you will be working from a state of joy instead of a feeling of obligation. I am making this slow as possible because I want y'all to get this, okay? And I'm going to repeat that whole thing all over again because I want to make sure that you are getting this. And if you're writing, I want to make sure that I'm saying it slow enough that you can write it. There is no someday. There is only right now. If your current life path isn't a joyful one, take a different path. By making your present reality as enjoyable as possible, your motivation will increase because you will be working from a state of joy 
instead of a feeling of obligation. That was for you all. For all the viewers out there and for the uh, for the one subscriber that had asked me that particular question. Okay, now let me tell you a little bit about me. A little bit about destiny. And what destiny can do for you if you would just allow me to. If you invite me into your arena, invite me into your life and into your journey, I am here to help you because I am sent here on this planet as a life enthusiast, as an encourager, a motivator, and I inspire people, I encourage people, and I empower people to become the greater and their higher self. I also am a life coach and a nutritious health coach, and I always encourage you to eat your best, most healthiest, nutritious diet that the universe has to give you out there in nature, that you become plant-based. I mean, choose a healthy lifestyle to eat. If you look out in nature, you will find your plate, all the nutritious and all the healthy herbs and spices, seeds, Anything you want, nature has it. That's your plate. But anyway, this is how I can help you. So, let me put this this way. How would destiny help you overcome your past and begin to live in the now? This is my question to you out there. You can put your comments in or your answers or whatever in the comment box. How would or how can destiny help you overcome your past and begin to live in the now? And I'm going to tell you how I see that I can help you. I don't know how you may be seeing how I can help you, but I'm going to tell you exactly so you won't miss it. So you will know exactly what I have to offer you, what I can do for you, what I am sent here by the universe to do for you. The way that Destiny works as a life enthusiast, a health coach, and a nutrition coach would be to help you think back into your past just enough so as to understand why do you do what you do in your present moment. I hope y'all got that. The way that Destiny work as a life enthusiast of health coach, a new nutritious coach, motivator, inspire, encourager, a positive motivator, oh, a keynote speaker. I am all of those things. And like I said, it's not bragging. It's just the mini hats that I wear and has been given to me by the Creator. But I will be able to help you to think back into your past just enough so as to understand why you do what you do in the present. I work with your head talk. Oh, what that's in it? Yeah. I like to get up in your head because a lot of times I hear things coming out your mouth and I be wondering, did that come out of your head? Because I, I want to help you to go back and catch some of the things that you be saying because I have a lot of conversation. I got my big ears open all the time and because the creator always have my big ears open and I hear people say things and they catch me like, what? <laughs> and I, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not putting anyone down because I've been in that place Many, 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 many years I spoke so negative, I allowed all kinds of negative words, negative vibes, everything come out of my mouth. I did not guard my mouth. I spoke whatever I feel because I was comfortable in, in what I was living in. And I have not given my whole being, my whole life, and my whole thoughts over to what the Creator said that 
We create words without reality. I would open my mouth. And I hear these things now because I'm more sensitive to it because now the universe has me in check. And I just want to help you. So I work with your head talk. Those automatic negative beliefs that we have about ourselves and the unhelpful messages that we give ourselves, stop. Stop. Pay attention. Go back and hit the replay buttons in your life. Put a guard on your mouth. Then open your ears and go back when you replay and hear exactly what you're seeing. Ask the universe, ask your God, ask your divine creator to put a check in on you. Put a guard over your mouth and to waken you so you become consciously aware of the things that you are seeing that is working against you instead of in your better behalf for your life to be created that according to the light that the creator has. I get up in your head and I help you to turn off your negativity that is playing in your head. And I don't want to offend anyone. I'm so quick to speak up when I hear these negative things and I immediately turn it off and I definitely turn it away from me. But I want you to be in tune back to what you're saying. Listen, I have helped a lot of people who did not mind me giving them that positive correction. They, they were welcoming to what I was saying. They didn't take it as me being judgmental because I'm not here to be judgmental. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you to grow to your higher and better self to create the life that you need to create so you continue to grow constantly aware where the creator is trying to move you into your higher and greater consciousness state of being. So, you'll find me turning off your negativity and all that crazy things and stuff that you're not even conscious aware that you're saying. I help you to turn that out and away from your head and get it as far as possible away from you to help you know how to stand and change your life. That your negativity now is turning into more positive thoughts and words. And you're creating your future with positive words instead of those negative thoughts. I find that once you can recognize your patterns and understand why you have all those negative thoughts, then it is so much easier for you to be consciously aware in the present moment. And that is what destiny is sent here to do. And if you want me to help you and not to feel like I'm judgmenting you, which I will never do. Not that I'm putting you down, which I will never do. I'm not sent here to do that. I want to see you grow, baby. I want to see you flourish. I want to see your life go from zero level all the way up to a thousand. I want to see your frequency just shoot up. I want to see you be in your beautiful, healthy energy, being that creator created you because you're all energy. And your life. And your love. Your peace and your light. So you have to be that light that shines in a dark world. Everything starts with awareness, and I want you to realize that. Get that. Everything in life, it starts with awareness. Awareness of your automatic thought patterns, which leads to automatic behavioral patterns. All that is essential. The desire to change the past automatic thoughts and behavior is necessary. Very necessary. As a man think in his heart, so he or she becomes. The Bible says it. Guard your thoughts. Yes, your God said it. Yes, your creator, your divine, higher power said it. Guard your thoughts. Put a guard over your mouth. Renew your mind every day with the renewing of the words that the Creator and your God has 
sent for you to speak. It's already in you. If you don't know the script, if you don't know the program, then you get in tight and in touch with your divine source, your God, your creator. And you ask him to redefine the script so you can know how to speak those positive words that will be in tune, that will be in sync, and that will be with the words that the creator can work with. That's sending you high vibrations and your vibration is going from one frequency higher, higher, higher because you're reaching your higher and greater self and you're reaching to your crown chakra, your heaven center, your illuminating self, your, intu your intuitive higher, greater power. <laughs> I put a lot on that, didn't I? Everything starts with awareness. Awareness of your automatic thought patterns, which leads to your automatic behavior patterns, is essential. The desire to change the past automatic thoughts and behavior is necessary too. Accessing your deep emotions. <gasps> what? Your deep emotions. Man, somebody walk up to you and say, Hi, oh, you ready to fight? Your emotions are already so intact to your negative self that you think that because somebody speaks to you, they sending you a, a, a bad word or they're speaking something bad in your life. Stop and listen. There's so much love around you sometimes that you're dismissing it because you already got your antennas on to fight. You already got your shield put up in front of you. The first word you hear, you're ready to battle. Your emotions are out of tact. So accessing your deep emotions becomes progressively easier, easier. As your awareness develop, get out of your past thoughts and how someone had hurt you. Get out of your past feelings and your past emotions. Get into your present moment and live it now. Somebody's out there trying to send you some love. Somebody out there trying to send you some peace, some happiness, some joy. Someone out there is trying to help you develop to become your greater and higher self. They see the good in you that you can't even yet begin to see because you're always in your negative self and in your negative feelings and in your negative emotions and you think about your negative past hurts and your pains and your abuses and you got to let it go. Drop it and get out of the past and stop trying to bring all that past and throw it up into your future because they did it to me in my past and yes, when I get in my future, it's going to still be there. Yes, it will. If you think that way, you see yourself that way, you believe in that way, it will. As a man thinks, as a woman thinks in her or his heart, so it becomes you right now. Let it go. Your past is behind and your future has not yet reached. You only can live in your moments. Be consciously aware where you are at your present moment. Then, finally, I mean, to conclude this, when all this happens, when you take hold to all of what I'm saying, then I am able to help you to practice your awareness. When you take hold to all that I'm speaking to you in this series, living in the now series, part one, part two, and part three, when you take hold to all of this information and you begin to put this information into your consciousness state of being, you begin to dress yourself in it, then you begin to speak to your higher and greater power, your higher and greater source, your God, your creator, and you begin to see, Ask your creator, help me to be able to walk and do everything that I need to walk in and be in at the present moment so I can be greater, so I can be, see my beautiful, authentic self. I want to see that beautiful be me every single day I wake up. I want to believe in it. I want to believe in her or him. But you got to start somewhere. And I want to help you. And I know there's a lot of more people with hearts and passions want to help people. You just got to open up and trust somebody to help you. So I want to help you be able to practice your awareness. To become mindful of your thoughts. 
you know what I mean? To become mindful of our thoughts and the emotions in the moment and to consciously act, not automatically react in the moment. And a lot of times I had a lot of conversations with people all the time. We are not conscious aware of what we are saying. We just open our mouths because we are so comfortable living in that way because we have lived that way so long that when we talking, we always got to speak negativity. And I'm not coming down against you, but I'm just wanting you to be thoughtful and consciously, when you say it, think before you speak. And you think the way that you would want your life to be, not the way life has been, if it's been hurtful, painful, ugly, scary, fearful, negative. No, don't think about how it has been. Think about the way that you want it to be. And I think everybody in this world, this universe, in this God planet wants a happy, wholesome, healthy, fruitful life that's full of positive energy, positive vibes, and love, peace, and light. Everybody, I think, will want that. So you think about what you really want. Do I want to be happy? Do I want to be loved? Do I want peace? Do I want joy? All the things that you want, the happiness and all that, then you think those things and you speak those things. And when it comes down to it all, whew, it's that man. As a man thinketh in his heart, as the thoughts that flows out of a man or woman's mind, they become that very thing. And if you don't set a positive tune for it, and you set only negativity, you become negative, 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 and lower and lower, lower energy. Woo! I am getting deep in this. So when it comes down to it, your mind is the only thing keeping you from living in the present. Renew that mind. Go into the Bible. It says in the New Testament, renew your mind every day. Be renewed every day. Be not transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to renew your mind every day, your thoughts. And I keep saying as a man, as a woman, thinks in his or her heart, so they become. And my advice to everyone out there, if you want to live in your present moment, your present state right now where you are, guard your thoughts. And yes, all of this is not easy. All of this is something you just don't do overnight. You just don't turn around right now and then and there. This is a process. It took you a long time to get to a, this place. It took you a many, many journeys, a whole lot of different trainings and a whole lot of different teaching and a whole lot of things that came into your life. A lot of the things was programmed and you believed it. The world got hold to you. You can't even remember how you were before the world got over to you, but you need to go back and ask the creator of God, how was I before the world got their hands on me and it changed me to be so negative? How was I? What kind of person was I? Who was I? What did I represent? What did I believe before the world got its hands on me? Now help me so I can become my greater and higher self. And it's a process. It takes steps. It first got to start here in your love, in your heart chakra. This is your love center. It got to start in your heart. Your heart chakra. This is love. This is the unconditional love of the creator. And your throat chakra has to become open to start speaking up against those negative things and start speaking out the truth. To your third eye, your third eye become open and illuminated so now I can see into people's negativity. I can see a lot before it gets to me. I can see all those things that people told me that was wrong. I can see the truth in those. So I can reach the very top of my crown, my heaven, my kingdom, for the kingdom of God is in you and that's 
where you gotta get to that crown chakra, the highest state of consciousness, your higher, greater self. This is your heaven. And all of that is a process. It's a process and it starts on the ground floor. Those seven major chakras that start there on the ground floor and your root chakra, your sacral chakra, then your solar plexus. And as you move to your heart, your throat, then your third eye, then you reach your heaven, your crown chakra, but it's a process. And the ego plays the major role in your life being programmed and flip flop upside down and you've been lied to and deceived and deception and the pain and the hurts and the abuse and all those things that took you out of your present moment and it hid you back in your past because I don't want no, nobody to know that I'm hurting. I've been through these things. I'm, I don't want nobody to see me the way I, I, I see myself. So I hide in my past. So I try to flash forward way past the, the present to get in my future so I can make a, a whole new life, a make-believe life. You don't have to jump into your future. Your divine source, God has it already planned out, and it's a beautiful life. Yes, 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 it's a hard, long process. And it's not easy to practice this kind, this kind of sort of, this, well, this sort of mindfulness. It's not easy to just practice it. It takes work. It takes work and work and it takes you listening and paying attention to the universe and the creator. And it takes a whole lot of reprogramming all the things that you've been taught. And you gotta start believing that you are greater and, and that you are better than, than you ever have been told. You gotta believe in your divine source and the power of your God. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The greater power is inside of you. It takes a lot. And it's not easy to practice this sort of mindfulness. But it is really worth it. And the effort, it is all worth it. And in the long term, as you are, and then more and more and more able to live in the now. And then you will become your authentic, beautiful, Self, your soul consciousness, your higher, greater self. Yes, this is a long process and it is not easy to practice this sort of mindfulness, but it really is worth the effort in the long term as you are then more and more able to live in the now as an authentic individual. I'm going to put this over here. That's it. This, this was long, but I wanted to conclude this video. This was long. This was part three of the Living in the Now series. I hope you got something from this. Go back. You have to review part one of the Living in the Now series, part two, and part three, which is today. I put it out there. I did what the creator has sent me to do. God did what my God has sent me to do. My divine higher power. I'm destiny and I'm here to help you. I love you guys. I'll give everything that I can give so that you can be your best self at all times. And in any way that I can help you, I already show you. You got to Hook me up, connect with me, send me some comments and tell me, how can I help you? I'm done. It's a beautiful day and I love you guys for spending this time with me. This was long, but I know that it was worth it. So on that note, I say thank you so much and I truly love every one of you with all of my heart. I'll see you guys at the next video. Don't forget. Go back and look at this entire series. Very significant and important messages. And I know that you need it because the universe, my God, gave it to me because he said they need to hear this. Thank you. Have a great day and 
Namaste to everyone out there.